Assalamu alaikum Hi friends this is Shoaib Today I'm going to make an animation tutorial I'm going to animate my text this way I'm going to make a white shine across the text moving from right to left this way So I'll show you a step by step procedure of how I did this Okay I'll first delete all these frames Delete I'll delete I'll uh, close this tab group I'll delete the first two layers. I'll make the background visible. Then I'll click this text tool over here, this one. And before clicking in this text area, I will uh, click this color box here to set my text color. You can choose any color of your choice. I'm choosing black, so bottom extreme right for black and click okay. Then click in this text area here and type in the text which you would want to animate i will animate my name shoeb now let me reduce the size of this text just select the entire text this way with the cursor okay not reduce it uh, let me just uh, align it towards the center okay so click this move tool here okay and uh, align it towards the center this way okay once you've aligned it let me increase the size of this first alphabet which is s by just selecting S and uh, dragging the cursor to the right and adjusting it to 90 say okay click move tool again and just adjust it towards the center this way okay this way almost there uh, yeah so now that we are done with our alignment click this uh, box over here which says rectangular marquee tool You'll find this just below your move tool. Okay, click this. Then uh, make a square. Sorry, a rectangle. In such a way that uh, it's just a little more thicker than your S. Okay, this way. Then uh, you find these two boxes over here. Square boxes. One is uh, black and the other is white. I'll click on the upper box which is black in color. Click this. And I will choose my color from change my color from black to say white top extreme left and I'll click OK okay now click on this gradient box over here in case you do not find it you might find something like paint bucket just right click on that paint bucket and, and select gradient tool okay and then at the top over here you'll find the gradient moving from white to transparent in case you do not find that click this drop down and select the second option okay which says foreground to transparent click this then click this first option which says linear gradient then keep the mode at normal keep the opacity at 100% uh, reverse keep it unchecked dither keep it checked transparency keep it checked okay so now uh, let's create another new layer we have this shoeb layer selected over here now let's create another new layer come at the bottom right over here and select this option which says create a new layer we have a new layer formed layer 1 now hold down the shift key of your keyboard and don't leave it okay then uh, click your mouse and don't leave it and drag it towards the left until it reaches almost the corner this way and leave your shift key and your mouse click this way so you have this white lining formed over here Similarly, just repeat the same thing again. Click shift key down and just drag this towards the left until it reaches the corner almost and leave your shift key and your click. Similarly, just uh, repeat it again with the difference being that you are going to leave it at the center over here. Okay, this time at the center. Okay, that's it. Just three times we did it. Two times in uh, the first two times at the, till the corner here and the third time in the middle till the middle over here okay then click this marquee tool over here marquee tool rectangular marquee tool and uh, right click in this region and select deselect we did this to get rid of that selection okay so you see this uh, white layer which i made now it's falling on the background we don't want this in the background we just want this in our text so how do you get rid of that remaining part simple just uh, 
right click on this layer 1 and select this option which says create clipping mask okay create clipping ma clipping mask very important okay so now you have this in the text it will move only in the text and not not in the background so just click this move tool and uh, drag it to the extreme left this way now let's get rid of our background okay how do you get rid of it just click on this layer 0 click this and uh, hit delete on your keyboard you have your delete key on your keyboard hit that you got rid of that background now you just have this layer and this layer now make sure that layer 1 is selected not shape layer 1 is selected then go to windows and click animation let's do the animation work now so uh, let make sure that the time is set to 0 seconds in case if it is not so click this down arrow button over here right click this and select no delay okay now click this button which says duplicates selected frames okay click this once and you have these uh, direction keys on your keyboard up down right left okay in this process we are only going to use our right arrow key okay now press your right arrow key around uh, say 30 times okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 okay 30 times then uh, click on this tab here again duplicate selected frames again just once and again 30 times uh, you're gonna uh, click your right arrow key 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 okay similarly just do it this way throughout okay again create a new frame and do it 30 times we're just maintaining a regularity throughout our animation so that it looks really good in case if you have a smaller image you could go for just 10 intervals or maybe 20 depends on your uh, text size my text size is big so I'm using 30 intervals but whatever you start with if you start with 10 make sure that you continue with 10 throughout I started with 30 so I have to continue with 30 throughout okay this way keep moving it till it reaches till it crosses the B my B sort of a lightning lightning effect One more frame. Okay, one last frame. Okay, your frame could end at even twenty. Wherever it ends at, make sure that that last frame is selected and right click on that frame and change the time to say 0.2 seconds okay 0.2 then go to file click on save for web and devices okay not save as you're not clicking save as since this is an animation we'll click on save for web and devices okay we'll get the pop-up for this animation and uh, make sure that these options are selected okay uh, preset unnamed gif selective diffusion colors 256 dither 100% matte white uh, no transparency dither interlace keep it checked uh, web snap keep it at 0% convert to srgb make keep it checked monitor color copyright and con uh, contact info the size let it be the same quality by cubic percent 100%
okay looping options forever okay once these options are corrected click on save and uh, let's select the location where we would want to save this okay I'll save this on my desktop and I'll name it as say Shoeb's animation Shoeb's animation okay I'll click on save so let's see our animation now Shoeb's animation so here's my animation uh, sorry for the inconvenience guys uh, the preview is not exactly what it is uh, just check the description below this video I am gonna post the exact GIF image for this animation that is the ac actual preview since my computer is really slow it's not exactly showing the animation properly so thank you so much for watching my video in case if you get doubts do let me know uh, Jazakallah khair